listening we thank you for the opportunity to be on air right. speak to us speak through me speak through him let people be edified let your will be done in jesus name amen, amen and amen y'all see he is in the studio right and they featured me on a zone too right. which i think is under yeah. and that, um, that got made people know my ability a bit but i didn't really go me through like that but what people brought me into the lamb life wow. 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 Oh, 10, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, 11, 20, Okay. People get accidents. Okay. They begin to see things. Stoneboy also got an accident. Stoneboy also got an accident. Uh, um, somebody also also got an accident. Yes. Yeah, people, so, a lot of people get accidents. They get accidents. Yeah. Yes, I also got accidents. Yeah. There's, there's a certain thing or something about us, show business mm -hmm. and uh, accident. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what, what your impression or your thoughts are, yeah. but we seem to. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Could be the possible problem that or issue. I mean, it could probably be carelessness. Mm -hmm. It could probably be uh, not taking care enough. Maybe some few mistakes here and there. Mm -hmm. Someone, um, you could probably they were driving well. Someone crossed their path and they were trying to prevent mm -hmm. the accident and rather ended up in it. It could be also, you know, you know, there's so many things um, that could cause. The accident, mm -hmm. you know, but God is all knowing. God sees ahead. Mm -hmm. God knows the hearts of men, and He sees ahead. Mm -hmm. And when accident happens, before it will happen, God knows it, and God allows it to happen for a purpose. Mm -hmm. And um, the end of the accident, the outcome of the accident, God has the power to um, tell the let them uh, uh, tell the outcome or uh, has the power to right. change things or what mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so it, tell me about your accident where did it happen how did it happen uh, on the motorway Tema motorway yeah. motor. we were coming from Accra to Tema in the night in the night in the mm -hmm. evening night. where were you coming from we were coming from Accra mall we went there for a meeting okay um, a business meeting okay, okay. And a friend of mine was driving. I was mm -hmm. in a passenger seat front seat, just awesome. the two of us. Right. After we took the two, put the tickets, and I laid back and do stuff. I heard and later. I heard his voice in my ear saying, "This taxi driver, why did he cross me like that?" And so without opening my eyes, I, uh, everything just went off. Um, I didn't know where I was. I was off, you know, total darkness. It was as if I never existed. When I woke up. I woke up again, my eyes were opened, my but my vision was blur and dark and I was in so much pain. My neck, my head and my arm. I've never experienced that pain in my life. Yeah. And there was someone beside me trying to console me, like it could be cool down because I was crying. And then I went off again. When I woke up again, I realized I was at a hospital with a neck collar around my neck. People all around drape on me, bandage on my arm, and the pains came back, especially my neck. So painful. Later, I asked my friend what happened. He said he was speeding on the motorway. He was speeding on the motorway. Mm. And then a taxi driver came from behind, overtook him, was in front of him all of a sudden. So he wanted to swerve. If not, if he hits the brake, he can still, there will be a head on collision. So he wanted to swerve. And in the act of swerving, he lost control. The car got off the road. Someone sorted three times and landed on its head upside down like mm. that. Bam, so when seat belts and hugging upside down in the car i was off didn't know where i was and with hand injuries and arm injuries and bleeding and off and my my friend was on and strong and he got out of the car found people and they rushed me to the hospital the doctor said whilst i was in the car like that one of my neck bones had broken and the broken neck bone was one inch away from my respiratory system and if it had pressed on it i would have lost my breath in seconds yet those who pulled me out of the car didn't know 
if you see how the car was the where i was sitting the door how mangled it was and were upside down you see door and yet they pulled me out and they didn't know one of my neck bones were broken was one inch away from mm. my mm. respiratory mm. system mm. they didn't know and yet i didn't die wow. you understand yeah. uh, 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 i didn't die and mm. And I got to hospital, they said they had to use special metal wires and screws to operate on the bone so my neck would work again. It sounded scary. We asked for another alternative. They said there is this thing called the hollow vest. So we chose the hollow vest and they placed it on me for three months. They had to screw it into my head and into my to tap to hold my skull family. So I would turn neither left nor right for the bone to heal back naturally after three months. After three months doctor says so is the bone is shifting and it's shifting towards my brain vein wow. and that if i'm walking and i stumble or i'm in a car hits at a traffic <coughs> and i motion in a certain way i it could touch the brain vein and i'll paralyze and so the only option for them now is to do the operation we never did from the beginning i asked him how dangerous dangerous it was he told me point blank start tuning your mind because anything can happen just here 37 years that, that, that's the hard of it wow yeah wow that's the picture yeah that's the picture, that's the picture. That's the picture. wow yeah. you are really in pain yeah yeah, yeah. no i've never experienced that no pain this in my life. i mean this around your body and your head you were really in pain yeah. oh, okay yeah, i must yeah. confess that you were really in pain so much pain wow and wow uh, how long were you in the hospital for i i i was in the hospital for like a week and some few days and then after the places on me they made me come home in this and so after I, I spent like um, um, three months in this while at home, and then after this, when so I came to the mind, sorry, I spent like I was at home for three months in their vest. And when I came for my my checkup, when it was time to come for my checkup, doctor checked, and then they took off the vest. And then when I went for the um, okay, I've already said it uh, that uh, they said down the bone is shifting, shifting yeah, towards my brain, brain pain, and yeah. they have to do the surgery. Right. And and he told me point blank that should start tuning my mind because anything can happen that is when i realized that i cannot depend on them anymore mm. anything could happen and i felt deep down within me that if i enter that theater um, something good uh, uh, there is something bad might happen so i i went home and cried to god was praying i became spiritual mm. i got close to god mm. see through that one god got my attention right through that one, I started paying attention to God, right. going to Him, wanted to, wanted my healing. And one Sunday, I woke up from my sleep, sitting up on my, trying to sit up on my bed, and then it came to me, read Psalms. And when I stood on my arm to touch the Bible, I heard 103 verse 3 at the right side of my ear. So I checked Psalm 103 verse 3 and says, who forgives all your sins, who heals all your diseases? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wow. And so I was hopeful. I knew the next time I was going for my checkup, I knew I'm healed. I went to doctor checked. He said, "No, we still have to do the appreciation of your problem." I know. God gave me a message some few days ago. He says, "I'm forgiven." And he said, "No, this is what I also see in the X-ray. Just here, there's seven here. Show me." That's why I see. Look, we have to do operate even though you are like, you know, no, God. So I had to either choose what the doctor is saying or what God has said according to His word. It was hard. I came back home and I chose to believe in God. And friends had heard they call me. Yeah, we hear say people do appreciate God paralyzed. I'm like, no, I'm forgiven and healed. Meanwhile, doctor has maybe gone through certain medical tests preparing me for the operation. And we're looking for an exact date in the month of March 2014 to do the operation. Yeah. While I was waiting for that date, my brother um, um, convinced me and took me to church for an anointing service. During that anointing service, for the first time, I fell. I wasn't even touched yet. We were just worshipping. And for the first time, I used to see people for I thought was a lie. That time I was claiming a G. I'm like, I would see them. I'm a guy. Yeah, I'm a guy. But if me, I'm a guy in that family. And I fell and I wanted to wake, I couldn't work. And I, I was so overwhelmed and I realized God is working on me. And I knew there was a change. And I, I came back home, called the doctor. I'm believing the healing has manifested. I want to come. It's okay, come the following day. It was a Monday. I went the morning. He took the first x ray. He stayed for a while. They utter a word. He wrote a request, another request, and go and bring it. I went and took it. was a baker scan. He went to his office. He called another doctor. They sat. They stayed. They stayed. They stayed. And then he said to me, This is complex. Let's stop the operation. They can go back home. I asked him, Is it? And he said, Yeah. I said, No need for 
us to do the operation oh. again. The next time I went for a checkup, he said, No need for me to come back to the hospital oh. again. So I never did any operation. Oh. I'm here moving around, no no paralyzing. No operation. Yeah, no operation. Oh. He said, If I hadn't done the operation, like I would have paralyzed yeah. all this, yeah. you know, you know. But yeah, I have no operation, uh, no nothing. I'm walking about, preaching, you know, doing good. He said, Sound 103, verse 3. Verse 3. Yeah.